Hey everyone and welcome back to another Sea of Thieves guide. Today we'll be looking at how to complete the Shrine of the Coral Tomb along with the 5 journal locations you need to get the Coral Curse. See my Coral Curse video for more details. This shrine is quick and straightforward so don't worry, no sharks and not too much parkour and you can easily do this solo. All guides for the other shrines coming soon. So yeah, let's just get right into it, enjoy. Alright, the Shrine of the Coral Tomb is in the northwest corner of the map. Sail on over, or if you're far away, consider server hopping to spawn closer. Real quick note, I would do the shrine with no treasure or important items on your ship. There's nothing more annoying than coming back to your ship and realizing all of your stuff is gone, so just take the extra time to sell it before doing the shrine. Anyway, you can enter the shrine through the purple glow. If you are new to Season 4, I have a full guide on my channel, so check it out. Enter the shrine through a large bubble window by cutting the glowing rock over here. After this, jump down this hole for a fun, well, no spoilers. And now, it's journal time! Yeah! For the first journal, swim straight down. The book can be found next to this ammo crate. Give it a quick read, or flip through as fast as you can like me. Alright, before we move on, I would switch to double gunning, a pistol and sniper recommended from a weapons locker. You can find several at the bottom of the shrine. This is to prepare for a future siren attack, which isn't really that hard, but it helps if you have a decent amount of ammo. Now you will need to complete a siren lever puzzle by pulling three levers in the order shown on the wall. Gem, coral, and chain. This is the same type of puzzle as the one used for commendation in the Dark Brethren Tall Tale. Also, if you look around you'll notice that there are different colored rooms, red, blue, and yellow. These are the levels of the lever puzzles you have to do, starting with blue, then yellow, then ending with red. Swim down to the journal from before. Directly behind it on the wall is the first lever, blue gem. Pull it to play part of a melody. Now swim over here. The blue coral lever can be found behind this pillar. And for the blue chain lever, swim to the surface and climb into this cubby thing in the wall. If you pulled the levers in the correct order, the siren song will play. Here is where double gunning will come in handy. As a new area opens, you will be attacked by a few sirens. Dispatch them and grab some food and ammunition from barrels and ammo crates at the bottom of the shrine. Oh, and real quick, if at any point you see any treasure, go ahead and store it inside one of the many mermaid statues in the shrine. The new locker mermaids are explained in my season 4 guide, linked down below. Time for the yellow levers. Run to the cave that just opened. You can find the yellow gem lever here. But also, it's journal time! The second journal can be found right next to the lever. Now swim to the other side of the shrine and into this large cave. Pull the yellow coral lever at the end of it. Finally swim to the surface and pull the final yellow chain lever again in a cubby thing. Let the music play and now you have to once again fight some pesky sirens. Red levers! Swim down between the two pillars and into the small cave. At the end of it is the red gem lever. Now swim across the shrine and into this cave. It's journal time! You can find the third journal just over here to the right by the pink coral. Swim to the end of the cave for the red coral lever. And finally, the red chain lever can be found in yet another cubby thing on the surface. Let Mr. Puke Man flood the room and fight some sirens to gain access to some more rooms. Swim up into this one. It's journal time! The fourth journal will be just by these skulls. That's nice. If you want to check out the other rooms, feel free, they should have some treasure inside. However, now it is time for the main loot area and the fifth journal. Here you will find a red coral throne, which will have the rest of the sea if you enter the shrine after receiving a coral message in a bottle instructing you to go there. Again, this is covered in my season 4 guide. It's journal time! The last journal can be found just over here. And that's it, store any treasure you desire in the mermaid statue and when you're ready, use the statue to teleport back to your ship. If you get back and your ship sank, no worries. The loot you got from the shrine is safely stored inside the locker mermaid until you withdraw it. However, like I said at the start of the video, loot already on your ship is not safe. So I would start the shrine with an empty ship. Sell any loot you have prior to starting. When you're ready to pick it up, head over to the new purple mermaid which will spawn near the purple glow and it will bring your treasure up for you. Anyway, that is basically everything you need to know to complete the shrine of the coral tomb. I will be releasing similar guides for the other shrines and treasury soon, so why don't you subscribe and hit the thumbs up button it helps me out and you can undo it at any time and with that said it's journal time and with that said happy sailing